Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In the past few sessions, we have already covered a large portion of messaging and data processing using SQS and SNS. And streaming is something that we hear a lot nowadays in real life. And this is one of the topics that is very, very important for both the exam and in real world work experience. And this might be a lengthy session, but I promise you it will be surely a very informative one. So please watch the video till the end. Yes. The time has come for us to talk about Amazon Kinesis. So if you're ready, let's begin. Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Out of what I said, the most important thing is to be considered the word streaming data. Streaming data is the type of data that is generated continuously by thousands of data sources, which typically send in the data records simultaneously and in small sizes. So you might ask me, okay, so now what are data sources or what are the sources of data? For streaming data or the data source include a variety of data such as log files generated by customers using mobile phones or web applications e-commerce purchases like if you shop or make any transaction from amazon.com or flipkart.com or there can be data that is generated by gamers playing online multiplayer games every action that the gamer takes generates logs and similarly when consumer purchases or makes any transaction it does the same way so this is what is known to be a stream of data or continuous flow of data in real time so with Amazon Kinesis, you can absorb real-time data such as audio, video, application logs, web click streams, and IoT telemetry data for machine learning, analytics, and other applications. So here as well, you might have some doubts with a few terms. The first one, you might ask what are click streams? So if we divide this into two parts, one is click and the other one is stream, isn't it? No, I won't be playing with you saying that a stream of clicks is click stream. Instead, what we will do is we'll understand with a simple example. Okay, so what we need to understand here is that whenever you click or whenever you visit a site, you click on certain links or buttons or entities and traverse through the site, isn't it? So for every click, the web service actually keeps a track of where all you have visited by every click. And you might ask, why does the website do that? So this is a very important aspect of user experience. With the click stream or click path data, the company which runs the website may use this data that you have helped them generate to find out what your preferences or what are you actually searching for and the pattern the user has. So the next time users visit the website, they might highlight the most popular things on the same page. And they are able to do this using the data that the user logs generate. So I hope you got the idea of how clickstream or how click path works. Don't worry, we will be discussing this in length in a short while. And for those who are not aware of what telemetry data means, so let's suppose you are doing weather forecast and that signal data is at some other place, isn't it? But we need to transmit that data over a remote server and that data is the real time data that is transmitted continuously over a medium. So these types of data are called telemetry data. So just to reiterate this once again, with Amazon Kinesis, you can absorb real-time data such as video, audio, application logs, website click streams, and IoT telemetry data for machine learning, analytics, and other applications. And the most important thing for you to remember is that Amazon Kinesis enables you to process and analyze the real-time data instead of having to wait until all the data is collected before processing can begin. So you can process as and when the data comes rather than waiting till it is completely collected and then you begin the processing. Okay, so I hope you got the point. So moving on, there are four important aspects of Amazon Kinesis. And don't worry, we will discuss these in depth in a short while. So keep watching the video till the end. So the first one that we have here is Amazon Kinesis video streams. So Kinesis video streams makes it easy to securely stream video from connected devices 
to AWS for analytics, machine learning and other processing. So for now, just remember that Kinesis video streams are used to stream videos in real time and you can use them for your analytics, reporting and ways to perform absorbable analysis. Okay. And the second one that we have here is we have Amazon Kinesis data streams. And this is one of the scalable and durable real-time data streaming service that can continuously capture gigabytes of data per second from hundreds of thousands of sources. The previous one we had was for video streaming and this one is purely for data stream. Okay. And the third one we have is the Kinesis data firehose. And this one you are most likely to use in your AWS implementations in your work as well. As per AWS, Kinesis data firehose is the easiest way to capture, transform and load data streams into AWS data stores for near real time analytics with existing business intelligence tools. In short, if I have to explain to you about Kinesis Data Firehose, I think all of you are aware of Splunk, Elasticsearch, Redshift, S3, MongoDB, Datadog, etc. Isn't it? So all these are used for the purpose of either log analysis or filtering or data search or analytics or monitoring. So to do all this, these applications or services need data and they need a data provisioner. And if you're using an AWS architecture and you want to use AWS services like S3, AWS Elasticsearch and other third party applications to process data, then Kinesis Data Firehose helps you or helps us to automatically deliver the data to the destinations that we just spoke about without writing or managing additional applications or resources. And the fourth one that we have is Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics. So this is fairly simple. This is one of the easiest ways to process data streams in real time with SQL or Java without having to learn new programming languages or processing frameworks. So this is mostly used for processing data with SQL and Java. And if you are aware of Apache Flink, there you can use Java or Scala to process and analyze streaming data, isn't it? So you must understand these features that you see is a way of AWS to provide the underlying infrastructure to perform these integrations and to process the data. So now let's talk about these in detail. But as we have our rule of learn once, never forget, before learning Kinesis, I want you to have a complete idea about what is streaming data. Okay, so that you can get the overall perspective of why we are using Kinesis. So as I've already said before that streaming data is the type of data that is generated continuously by thousands of data sources, which typically sends in the data records simultaneously and which are in small sizes. And data streaming is beneficial in most scenarios where new dynamic data is generated on a continuous basis. When there is a situation where you need real time data processing and where it becomes essential for us to keep track of any event or trigger point in the data or in a data and that has to be processed then and there you can't just store it in a database and wait for it to be processed later and this can be done using streaming data because it is a continuous flow of data that streams from your applications. Let's see a few real world examples here. Okay, so I would like to reiterate once again. So as you've already said, as I've already said before that streaming data is a type of data that is continuously generated by thousands of data sources. Let's see a real world example here. So the first one is transport vehicle. So if you have seen car manufacturers performing a car test, they don't just watch the tire spinning or watch it if the engine is heating up standing next to the car in a testing environment, isn't it? If they do that, they will have to wait for around five to six years just to deliver a few cars. Instead, uh, to measure performance and keep track of the status of the vehicle, they stream the real time data of their application so that they can monitor the status of the vehicles using a sensor. So this can also help the organization to detect potential defects in advance. So by streaming data, they are able to analyze what the current status of the vehicle is and thus that improves their performance or the testing mechanism. The second one is very obvious one. Streaming data is also used for financial applications which keep track of the market stocks and its fluctuations based on which they analyze the risk and consistency pattern. The third one is also important where applications keep track of customer data to provide them real time recommendations of properties like houses or restrooms or rented rooms. And all this will be in real time. So if you have an application which actually provides you the details of 
the nearby houses or any nearby estate, then these can be also done through streaming data. So the fourth one that we have here is streaming data or the data source includes a wide variety of data such as log files generated by customers using mobile phones or web applications, e-commerce purchases like if you shop or make any transactions from Amazon or Flipkart like I said before and this example has been very well set out when we are currently working on any applications like microservices or any other real-time application that the customer uses. Okay. And the last one is online gaming or gaming in general. Here gaming companies collect streaming data about player game interactions and feeds the data into its gaming platform. And that data is then analyzed in real time to offer reward points, incentives and dynamic game experiences to engage its player. So I hope all of you got the real time example of using streaming data and click streams. Now we are ready to talk about what Kinesis is and how does it work. So let's discuss things in details now and let's get started with Kinesis video streams. So Kinesis video streams makes it easy to securely stream videos from connected devices to AWS for analytics, machine learning and other processing. And in simple words, it means they are used to stream videos in real time and you can use them for your data analytics reporting and ways to perform observable analysis. So the beautiful aspect of using this is that AWS tells us that uh, Kinesis video streams automatically provision and elastically scales all the infrastructure needed to ingest streaming video data from millions of devices. So what does it mean? Is that with growing demand, you don't need to break your head to provision resources on your own. That will be taken care of by AWS itself. The next point we have is that it durably stores, encrypts and indexes video data in your streams and allows you to access your data through easy to use APIs. So when you use an SDK to use Kinesis, you can use the APIs provided to integrate it with your application. But the most important feature that you especially might be interested in is the Kinesis video streams can be used to play back videos for live and on-demand viewing. And these videos can be used to detect faces and anomalies or carrying out an investigation based on the video files using ML, TensorFlow, AWS recognition and OpenCV modules. And sometimes you have seen the parents monitor activities at the baby's room so that they can monitor the baby not being physically present with the baby itself. And video streams when integrated with WebRTC enables Kinesis video streams to help you get this data in real time. You may not realize this, but this can be used in so many crucial cases. And if you see the visualization here, we have the input file and the source file. So this basically you can see that is a CCTV camera, isn't it? So that source file video stream is fed to the Kinesis video streams using the AWS Kinesis SDK. And that data is being ingested into KBS or Kinesis video streams to securely store and encrypt for real time playback and analysis and then based on which application you use, it will be processed by it. Like AWS Recognition, SageMaker, TensorFlow, HLS-based video playback. I'm sure that some of you may not be aware of these terms, but just understand that AWS Recognition is used to detect objects like face, car, tree, or anything like that using images and videos. And SageMaker, on the other hand, is used for machine learning, where AWS provides you a platform to execute machine learning algorithms. So TensorFlow, you might be already aware of this, but TensorFlow is similar to SageMaker, but it provides you the total platform for machine learning. And the next thing is really very important, that is the HLS playback. I'll ask you one thing, and you should answer me this very, very accurately, that did you know that YouTube uses Apple's HLS of what we call as HTTP live streaming to provide its live streaming services. So all the live streaming that you see are based on HTTP live streaming. And that is possible using a streaming service. So remember that HLS is your HTTP live streaming. Okay, now let me ask you. If there is a question in the exam related to real-time video stream processing, then which option will you choose? So I hope you got the clear idea of how KVS works. Okay, so let's move on. Next up is Kinesis Data Streams. So Amazon Kinesis Data Streams or KDS is a highly scalable and durable real-time data streaming service. So you might ask if it is a data stream, what data are we referring to? So when you're working on an application, 
your application surely will generate service logs or audit logs, isn't it? Similarly, we have website click streams or click path logs, or they can be database transaction logs, or there can be financial transactions. And if you're using any social media platform, there can be social media feeds that can trigger the logs. And if you're using any social media platform, we can take this as a very good example. That can be social media feeds that can be triggered as a log. So if you're using Twitter, you might be already knowing that we have hashtags. And some of the times the hashtags actually go in a trending list. Okay. So this basically is a real time analysis of how the data is. I'm not saying it's exactly implemented that way, but it is similar to that. But I hope you're getting the idea of how real time data streams can be used to implement real time analytics and reporting. And the data collected is available in milliseconds to enable real time analytics. So if you see the visualization here, we have the input. This input can be from mobiles or applications or multiple websites and Kinesis data streams helps to store and process these data streams. Okay. And these data we collect can be used in our applications or we can make applications using the frameworks like AWS Kinesis data analytics, Apache Spark or by using our AWS EC2 where we deploy our applications. And as well, we can use it in our serverless applications using AWS Lambda. That is what I have represented here. And all these frameworks that you see are mostly used for big data and analytics and other data processing like dashboards and reporting. And it's not limited to only big data or analytics, but it can be used for various other purposes. Okay, so I hope this was clear. Let's move on. Okay, so this one is very important. So when we speak of AWS Kinesis Firehose, what AWS tells us is that we can prepare and load real-time data streams into data stores and analytics services. Elaborating further, Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose is the easiest way to reliably load streaming data into data lakes, data stores, and analytics services. Okay, this might be a bit confusing when I say it's the easiest way to reliably load streaming data into data lakes or data stores or analytics services. Don't worry, if you don't know about these terms, about data lakes or anything, so it is basically or data lake is basically a pool or repository of unprocessed or raw data where you can store any type of data at any scale. I repeat in data lake, you can store data of any structure or type of data like blobs or JSON objects, or it can be structured data or unstructured data or XML or raw files at any scale. And these data flows at a data lake from big data applications or analytic tools and are being used for data visualization or analytics. And data stores or data warehouse are mostly dealt with processed data. Okay, if you have doubts about what the differences are between raw and processed data, it's simple. Raw data is data that hasn't been processed to be used for a specific purpose. And processed data on the other hand has been, isn't it? And coming back to the data stores, these are used to store data related to databases and as well as simple files and emails. So these data stores can be like relational databases or NoSQL databases or message queues as well. So now you know the difference between raw and processed data and also you are now aware of what is the difference between data lakes and data stores. Now we can move on to the actual topic that is Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose. So Data Firehose captures, transforms and delivers streaming data to Amazon S3, Amazon Redshift, Amazon Elasticsearch Service, Genetic HTTP endpoints and service providers like Datadog, New Relic, MongoDB and Splunk. So remember this thing very clearly when you're working on designing applications with AWS, the data that is generated by your applications mostly will be sent to a Kinesis Firehose and then be either stored or archived in S3 or it is going to be used for log processing and monitoring using Splunk or Datadog or Elasticsearch. And then you can use these process data using tools to present your analytics or dashboards or reporting. Okay, I know these details are very lengthy, but please have some patience. These are factual informations where we use them in our applications as well. So I hope you got the gist of it. So it is a fully managed service that automatically scales to match the throughput of your data. And it can also be used for batch processing and it as well encrypts the data that you have. Okay. So Kinesis Data Firehose is the easiest way to reliably load streaming data into data lakes. So one was for pushing the data, that is the data streaming or the streaming data or the Kinesis data streams. 
and one is to load it into data lakes or data stores okay so this is what we call as kinesis data firehose okay so i hope this was clear let's move on now we come to the last step of kinesis the kinesis data analytics this one is the easiest way to process data streams in real time with sql or java without having to learn new programming language or processing frameworks why don't you have to learn it because amazon provides all the details or apis to basically use it so this is mostly used for processing data with sql and java and if you are aware of apache flink there you can use java or scala to process and analyze streaming data here kinesis data analytics provides sql users to execute or easily query streaming data or even build your streaming applications using templates and an interactive sql editor the same way java developers can build streaming applications using open source libraries or open source java libraries and aws integrations to transform and analyze data in real time so one more thing that is really important here is that there is no upfront cost and you only pay for the resources your streaming applications consume so that's a very good thing with kinesis data analytics as i said you can use sql queries and java sdks and there are three simple steps here that we can follow while using kinesis data analytics as it provides built-in functions to filter aggregate and transform streaming data for advanced analytics so the first step is that you set up your streaming data sources then second step using aws kinesis data analytics you write your queries or streaming applications the third step is that we set up our output destination for processed data okay so amazon kinesis data analytics is serverless and there are no servers to manage you can make use of it as per your demand no need to worry about the infrastructure or provisioning additional resources so i hope that was clear let's move on so now let's talk about a real-time example okay so where we will talk more about how we can design a clickstream analytics and that too on a very high level so whenever you visit a site you click on certain links or buttons or entities and traverse through the site so for every click the web service actually creeps a track of where all you have visited with every click on every link that you have so you might ask why does a website do that so this is a very important aspect for user experience so with the click stream or click path data the company which runs the website may use this data that you have helped them generate to find out what your preferences are or what you are actually searching for and the pattern the user has so the next time users visit the website they might highlight the most popular things that they have recently visited on the home page or as well as on the most influential pages and they are able to do this using the data that is generated by the user logs and a click path or click stream is the sequence of hyperlinks one or more website visitors follow on a given site presented in the order that the users have viewed the content okay i hope you got the point so it is basically the sequence of hyperlinks one or more website visitors follow on a given site okay presented in the order that the users have viewed the content and a very simple and effective example is that click streams can be used to allow the users to see where they have been and allows them to easily return to a page that they have already visited a function that is already incorporated in most browsers i hope you're getting the hint okay so if you've used a browser before or currently you are seeing this on a browser you know that you can move forward or backward when you traverse through the website okay so this functionality can also be considered one of those examples with click streams or click path and no i won't puzzle you with words i will show you a real time example here as well okay so let's suppose there are two users that we have then they have visited amazon.com to purchase some things okay so let's take our first user so he first goes to the home page then it goes to the products then it goes to the tv section then it actually buys the product and then he adds it to the cart and then makes the payment okay so this is one of the click paths that we have so, and this is basically a high level click path okay i'm not telling that he only went to these specific sites but this is a high level way of a representation of the click path okay so the user one actually visited the home then the product then to the tv section then to the cart where he actually added the product and then he made the payment and this is basically the click path the user one has so he went to the home page then it went to the products page then it went to the 4k tv page then he added the tv to the cart okay then he went to the cart and then he made the payment so this is one direction of click path 
then the user 2 came so what the user 2 did he went to the home page then to the products page and here without going to the 4k tv part he went to the mobile section and then he purchased the mobile where before that he had to add it to the cart and then he did the payment so the click path for user 2 is home products mobiles cart and payment okay and if he has to come back at this point user 2 cannot go back to 4k tv because he has never clicked that okay similarly the user 1 cannot go back to mobile section because he has never clicked on that site okay so the click path has not been taken into consideration that particular scenario okay so i hope you're getting the point here so this is how the click path actually works so i hope you got an example how click streaming works and this is just a small example but let's suppose millions of users are doing the same at the same given point of time then these data can be analyzed using kinesis and that is what we are going to discuss now so one more point that I have mentioned here is that click streams provide a holistic view of everything that your customer is doing online in order to understand all the touch points that influence their purchases. So with these click stream data, we can understand what the customers are marketed to. Okay. And they can be marketed more. So when we see the visualization here, every click that the user makes is considered to be an input that is fed to the Kinesis data firehose. Then from firehose, Actually, we send the data to Kinesis data analytics to be processed in real time using what? Using queries and SDKs. Next, we send it to Firehose again for it to be fed to Redshift or Splunk or Elasticsearch. And when we get the process data we're using some analytics, we actually put the output as our recommended output for the users based on the recommendation put forward by the processing. Okay, this was a bit confusing, but what I wanted to say is when you get the analytics on based on what the user is actually interested in, that recommendation or the recommended products that we have got based on the analytics that we have performed will be put there on the website. Okay, so I hope you got the point. So you have the input, you feed it to the Kinesis data fire host, then you spread it back to the Kinesis data analytics for processing. Then you feed it back to data fire host so that it can be put into like redshift or splunk or elastic search and then from there you generate the output that output basically is your recommendations okay that you put in front of the users so i hope you got the point let's move on so we just learned all that we can possibly learn for all the theoretical aspects of all the concepts we needed for kinesis so it's time for us to now do a quick recap for the exam point of view as well Okay, the first one we have is Kinesis Video Streams. Amazon Kinesis Video Streams makes it easy to securely stream video from connected devices to AWS for analytics, machine learning, and other processing. When you read video streaming for analytics, think of Kinesis Video Streams. Second one we have is Kinesis Data Streams. So Kinesis Data Streams is a scalable and durable real-time data streaming service that can continuously capture gigabytes of data per second from hundreds of thousands of sources. So when you read data streams in exam, think of KDS or Kinesis data streams. The third one that we have is Kinesis data fire host. So Amazon Kinesis data fire host is the simplest or easiest way to capture, transform and load data streams into AWS data stores for near real time analytics with existing business intelligence tools. So Amazon Kinesis Data Firehose is the easiest way to reliably load streaming data. Remember that load streaming data into data lakes, data stores and analytic services. So when you read in the exam something related to loading data streams into AWS data stores, think of Firehose. And the fourth one that we have here is AWS Kinesis Data Analytics. So Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics is the easiest way to process data streams in real time with SQL or Java without having to learn new programming languages or processing frameworks. Remember when you read in exam, data analytics using AWS managed services using SQL or Java, think of KDA or Kinesis data analytics. Okay, so I hope you got the point, let's move on. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, comment on what you liked, what you didn't, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's be friends on Instagram. Join me at Tuffer Apollo and to watch more, please click on the videos on the tab shown in the screen. Until then, it's Pythaholic signing off.